YouTube, here I am again, and this time I am doing a D, uh -huh. I was going to say a DUI, a do-it-yourself video that I did this last weekend. I was totally flabbergasted because I had found some empty jars from like the Lay's dips, the glass jars, and I was like totally, totally wanting to use those for something, but I didn't really know what, but look what I made, woohoo. I made these jars. I put some ribbon, some of the duct tape, uh, packaging tape of the pink and zebra print, wrapped it around here, totally wrapped the glue gun, the ribbon around it, and rhinestoned it with fabric glue. That's what I use, fabric glue. Um, let me show you what I use here so that way you can see what exactly what I use. These are all items you can actually purchase at Walmart. I didn't spend a lot of money on anything. Okay, here is the, it's called Unique Stitch. And I used uh, rhinestones uh, that I got for my nails, which I'll show you, which I, as you can tell I'm running low already. I used these rhinestones that are for your nails to do the 7285. And of course, this is what I use, the Easy Start, or Easy, Easy Start duct tape, or packaging tape. And all I did was I measured it out, the circumference of the jar, and this is, I guess, this is a Lay's jar for the dips or the salsa, for the salsa dip jars that you can find in your in your local grocery store. It was, a uh, my grandmother had usually uses them, and so what I did, she took all the stuff off. I took off the paper or whatever was around it, and was washed out, sanitized completely with the washer and dishwasher, so it's absolutely clean, as you can see. And basically, I measured out the circumference of the jar, and if I remember correctly, this is like about 11 inches in circumference. And I kind of went a slightly a little over and gave myself a little bit of play time, and wrapped like two, just so I can get a complete um, circumference around here. I wrapped it twice, so that way I could get it even around. And again, I added two of the ribbons around it. And this is, again, this is what I got at Walmart. And this is like $1.99 or something like that. And it was like about two bucks. And it's a black satin ribbon. And this is called Off Ray. And again, it's just black satin ribbon. That's all it is. Measured the circumference. Measured it twice so I can have a, um, the borders, top and bottom. I hot glued that with my hot glue gun. And again, with the unique stitch, I basically, with the tip of, the, of this, I put... My seven, and I did the seven first. I did my two, then I put the rhinestones for my two. I did my eight, I put my rhinestones for my eight, and I did my five, and I put my rhinestones for my five. And it was that easy. So I made me my fluffy 7285 for my makeup table in my in my makeup closet. This is holding right now my, of course, my um, lip pencils. And this one, I haven't actually put anything in it. I'm thinking about putting some makeup brushes in it. Or maybe some other pencils. I haven't quite decided yet. And then I made this other little, little, little box for myself um, to hold my humongous, humongous, humongous collection of lipsticks. Hold on here. <laughs> so you guys can mock me right now. And here you go. This is an old Sanyu, uh, Sonia Kush Kushuk box that was uh, from something that I had purchased. I save my boxes all the time because you never know. You might need it for sending a package or whatever. But I used this and I wrapped, again, I just wrapped the duct tape around it inside and out. And as you can see, it's, I'm going to take out my lipstick so that way you can see how I did this. I just hold my lipsticks in it. Um, like I said, my huge collection. As you see, inside it's totally, completely duct, duct taped or, or packaging tape. I put a black ribbon going all the way across it, as you can see. I put F for fluffy, and then I put these uh, little uh, beads on here with a hot glue gun, and a hot glue gun again with the ribbon, and completely then, this was like, a, I did this project like over the weekend, it was not that big of a deal, it didn't take no time, and this is like a hard sturdy box, this is not like no cheap little minky dinky box. This was a box from Sonia Kashuk's uh, makeup brushes that I had purchased and um, from one of her limited edition ones and I just, like I said, I just duct taped it with this, the packaging tape all over, hot glue gun, took me like less than a half an hour and it was done. Let that, let the rhinestones dry and all that and there you go. You have something for your vanity. So I thought I would share that with you guys, okay? 
All right, let me get all this stuff out of my way. Um, I also did that for myself, and I made one for my friend Glittery Snow White. I thought she would like one. I also made her a deluxe lipstick case, and she knows about that. She's already seen pics of it. And But I made her this one so she could add to her vanity, and I put GSW for Glittery Snow White, of course. And if you guys don't know Glittery Snow White, she's my friend, Heather. Okay, um, I guess that's it. If you have any questions regarding how I did this, please leave them down below. Again, the, the items that I used are simple. This is the black ribbon that I use. You might want to find something a little bit thinner or a little bit thicker, your choice, or a different color. You can find yourself different tapes like this. They have others, different colors, but I love the pink and the black zebra print, so I thought I'd go with that. And this is called, again, Unique Stitch. This is what I use to put on my rhinestones. Here's the little orange stick that I use to put on my rhinestones one by one. And here's the rhinestones that you can get from eBay. And these are, I don't even know how much these are, but because these were a gift, so I use these rhinestones and to write out each and everybody's, my, my initials and my name and my my number on there, and I, I did my friends too. Alright, peace out YouTube, and I hope you have a great day out there. I have one more video for you to, to check out, so I'll be right back. Peace out and much love to you out there in the YouTube world. From your girl Fluffy. Bye!